Hey everyone, we are back here at Alchemy Stars. We're talking about the new alternate units and at what cost do they bring. So let's move on to this discussion. Okay, so most of you guys have seen the new alternate uh, units that are out. So it's Barton and it's going to be Vice. Definitely the artwork on these guys are tremendous. <laughs> I really like the our new artwork on Barton. Um, just want to discuss with you guys because based on previous experiences with, 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 with other games, um, once you release alternate units... It actually creates a, you know, creates a rivalry between putting out new units that don't have existing units, like uh, original units, I, I may say, versus putting out um, alternate units, which are usually uh, more powerful than the previous ones. But before we go into that, um, there's a lot of things that we're going to be discussing. We're going to go with the preview of both barton and vice so again i'm going back to the artwork of you know again the, the team for alchemy stars the artwork uh hands down to you guys you guys always do a good job in terms of putting uh, out your best foot forward in terms of the artwork appearance weapon abilities character Move on, moving on to the other so Barton has a Puma. Has yeah, it's a Puma. Um, again, tremendous. This is his basic form. This is his ascended form, which is even more, you know, even more good. The artwork because more or less we will see this as well when we ascension him during his his uh, his launch already or in the game itself. Next is going to be Vice. So Vice here. Changes her weapon completely, uh, and she has a more, you know, more uh, braver look, I may say, in terms of uh, how she's going to be able to fight. And this is a more, I think, a hardened, a war hardened uh, vice, as you can see. And moving on to what she has um, for her, uh, what do you call this, Ascension. So this is her artwork. Um, I think I like this more better for her Ascension, Ascension rather than this one. So that is my opinion. And put them down in the comment section below if you think I'm right. And let's go back to the topics at hand. So at what cost do these um, alternate units bring? Okay, so why am I bringing this up? Because I've experienced this in other games. I won't, ex I won't really name those games. But um, number one, I want to point out is this is not an improvement. Okay, so clearly these are separate units that we're going to be playing. Um, my comment is this: this versions of them could have been a more awakened to so ascension than you have awakened versions. Awakened versions could be a more powerful version of the existing one. So it's like an awakening system wherein you, when you um, just upgrade the existing unit into a more powerful unit, then you get this. This one, however, is duplicate. So hopefully they could have done that. Um, what do you think about that? Uh, if you like that more, the awakened system wherein they could have just um, elevated the current units to this. Because what do you do? with the previous version moving on to my next point so what happens to the pre previous version if you're going to play vice here definitely most probably and right now most people aren't playing her already you won't be playing that version so again what happens to the previous version my point two can you use them in the same team uh that would be awkward as well using uh, old Vice versus New Vice or Old Barton versus New Barton. Old Barton would be, I think, a mainstay because he is a cross converter. Uh, you might have to use both of them simultaneously, probably in the future. But w wouldn't that be weird? <laughs> I think that would be weird if you see them both in one team. Um, number three, my third point would be, will this impact new unit releases? Okay, because 
like right now, we were expecting new characters from the game. Really new, original ones. But we're definitely getting three, but only one is original. Two are alternates. So, in the future releases, will they release more? Will they double their efforts? When is when do they release alternates? What is, you know, how do they release them? When is it frequent? Will it be a month? Uh, every month? Will it be, you know, will it compete with original characters in the future moving forward? That is actually my point. Um, because some of the games that I played, once they put out alternate units sometimes you don't get new characters anymore you get you, you get you get alternates instead so i'd rather get new characters because again new characters new units are you know is is also also brings some freshness to the game this just is for me is like a rework so this, these are just reworks for me, and um, hopefully they could find a balance between new and uh, alternate units in the future, so that it would be a balance of uh, keeping the player uh, player base happy with uh, reworks and also new and original units. Okay, and um, number four is how do you decide who the gets who gets an alternate. That's also my point. Is it because of the story progression that this character should be a general and um, he should have a, a more powerful uh, kit? Is it because uh, they need a rework that they need a more powerful version to be used? In the first place, if it's a rework, it should have been the awakening system that I mentioned that you just ascend, not ascend, you awaken the ascended version. So another ascension. So it's like a second ascension from the original one. So that's that's the rework basically. But for me, I think this is the way they, they're going to make a rework of the character. I just hope that they don't run out of character ideas in the future. Um, that is actually my fear. Um, the creativity character designs would be you know would be thrown out of the window and just alternates and alternates there left and right so hopefully it doesn't happen i'm optimistic that it, it doesn't happen that they would strike a balance between alternate and original units to be rolled out and lastly number five right now we're expecting that both barton and um, and uh, vice would have the same element uh, more or less, based on the, the, the changes, they might have a different class, right? Right now, the assumption, my assumption would be same element, different class because of the rework. But in the future, do they also get, some of them might switch to a different element? Hmm. Something to think about, guys, because again, it might happen... It really, it might happen. So, um, you, probably some would be, um, what do you call this? Change in both. Both change in type, change in element. So, we don't know yet. So, those are just the things that you should consider moving forward. I'm excited for them. I know you guys are excited for them. But these are the things that might impact the game moving forward. And um, I'm not saying that this is a bad step moving forward. This is actually a good step. But again, it should be balanced in anything that you deploy something new to the game. A tiny mistake can, you know, can rock the player base and can, you know, can really demotivate your player base. So that is what I'm saying. I love this game. I really want this game to succeed although i'm late to the party in six months but definitely this game is one of the best games that i played hands down unique ones and uh, hopefully see this game in another year after the first year anniversary so and also more years to come and um Thank you guys for staying this far. So hopefully you, you know, if you have any suggestions, comments on the alternate system, put them down in the comment section below. I'd like to hear from you guys. What is your take on what I just discussed and hope to see you in future videos. 
Thank you guys. Stay safe. Take care. This is the warden and I'm out of here.